Yes. It's me. It's you. There's not too much time left. No. 25 days, something like that. It's going to go fast. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. I think I ate too much of this muffin. Two-thirds of the way through? Yeah. <coughs> I feel like we just passed the halfway mark, and now we're already two-thirds. It's crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, we kind of did. It's only like 15 days ago. Huh? Halfway. Mm. Can I make the bed, William? Sure. Then you can sit on it. Why do you want to make, make the bed? Because I want to put laundry on it. Oh. We're gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> like a gentleman. Like a gentleman. Because we're not animals, the, man. Not animals. Karen's still going on about that redneck shit. Yeah. <laughs> we not we were speaking French now. She was like, pa pa poo, ta ta ta, pa pa ta poo. <laughs> I was like, yeah. She's crazy. Oh my god, I want to throw up. My muffin was too much. Too much? Oh. Yeah, eat like four muffins. No, oh, come on. I did like a lot. Care Bear. Does this smell bad? Make sure I wash this. No. Okay. It's not. Sm it's, it's. No. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Shout out to Grandma. Did it? I don't know how she did that. Yeah, she makes clothes all the time. It's awesome. As like a as like a teenager, you don't really care. You're like, ah, oh, grandma, like this isn't cool. I'm not gonna wear this. But now I love it. Love wearing grandma's clothes. Well, how she did that? She didn't like do like. I don't know how she does it. Just buys fabric, gets a design, oh. sews it together. That's so cool. Is she really old or? That's a yes. That's yes. a art that's she's, being she, lost she, she, in the world. Yeah, not many people are sewing anymore. No. Yeah, how old is she? <sighs> to be honest, I don't know. In the 80s? 77 or something. And you said it's, she's really old? That's old. That is not really old for a grandma when you are 24. 77 is an old. She's an old person. I have, an, an, I have an uncle who's that age. You have an uncle who's 77? Yeah, my grandma is the one who two. What? Yeah. <laughs> Well, she's dead like three years ago, but she was 99, 98. That is old. How do you guys deal with funerals? I don't like this. Yeah, I I've saw. I've lost too many people, man. I don't go anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't go anymore. Last time I went in funeral, that is a sad story. It was for my grandma's funerals, and I, oh my God, my sister and I felt so bad. Mm -hmm. My dad was stuck. About that he loves her and everything, and he was crying, and he cries so in a weird way that my sister and I first row started to laugh. Oh my God, William! <sighs> and we're like, Shit. but laugh couldn't stop laughing. We both were like, <laughs> and I was like, at least people's gonna think that we are like crying, so we were like oh doing God. this, but we were like laughing as my dad wow. bawling. <laughs> That is wow. mean. William. Terrible. Just terrible. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you are mean people. <laughs> William. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan is like judging me right now. That's just terrible. So when you Dylan die. Dylan doesn't really care. <laughs> when you die, do you want people to have a funeral for you? No. Well, you just party. Party. Yeah. yeah. Bar, open bar. Have fun. Really? That's the way to do it. Yeah. Brother. I want people to cry for me. No, I don't want people to cry for me. No, not at all. And then burn me. Take whatever organs you can to use and give them to someone who needs them. Yeah, yeah, this is right. And then burn me and sprinkle my ashes out in the woods. That's sweet. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. Good thing. 
Yeah, I signed up for organ donation last year. Yeah, you gotta do it. <clears throat> you gotta be a donator. Do you donate blood? No. No. I went twice, and I passed out both times. Fainted. <laughs> really? I tried twice. I was like, two, two times I fainted. I'm like, all right, I feel like I'm exempt. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't. Did you know that I cannot? Oh, it's so embarrassing. So I'm sitting there with the, the thing in my arm, and I'm like, don't look, don't look, because I'm really wheezy. And I'm like getting close to the end of the session. I'm like, all right, I'm going to look. I take a peek, and as soon as I see that needle and the blood, like my world starts to go dark, and I just <laughs> lose all my vision. And I can like, it's black, and I hear voices. Oh my and I wake up, and like the four nurses are around me. They have like a blanket on me. They have fans pointed at me. I just felt like so useless. And all the other people donating blood are just looking at me. <laughs> I'm just so embarrassed. I'm like, oh. I'm in twice. I picked myself up. Two months later, I'm like, all right, I'm going to donate again. Let's do this. Same thing. Just saw it, and the world went black. I was like, all right, I'm done with this. I can't. Wow. Mm. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Everyone's giving blood, just looking at me, kind of like, look at this guy. Like, <laughs> He's out of there. I have, to, I have to give a lot of blood for testing and stuff like that. Like They take oh, yeah? like mm -hmm. eight tubes every time, like every three months or something like that. So do they store your blood? Yeah. And they can test like 10 years in the future. Why do we do that? Uh, it's just for sport, just for... Oh. Uh, yeah, just for sport. Oh. oh, yeah. People take sports very seriously. Yeah, yeah they can test it whenever. <sighs> I heard that it's a, someone told me that when Lance Armstrong won one of his Tour de France's, and like he, they, he was stripped of the title because of doping. Tour de France. Tour de France. Tour de France. And what, really? whatever it is, the Tour de Tour France. Tour de France. Tour de France. Tour de France. Someone told me that if they went back to the cyclist, who the clean cyclist, the guy who got like thirty second no would have won or something. No kidding. He's like. It's terrible. He's like, if they were gonna give it to the only guy who was clean, like the guy who got thirty second Lance, place would have won. Lance Armstrong stopped. Like in like mid race and got a blood transfusion multiple times. Yeah, in like the tent and stuff, right? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, during the race. During the race. Yeah. He'd get brand new blood, cause his blood, like his blood was worked. He worked his blood through, so he'd get a blood transfusion and be all brand new oxygenated blood. Oh my god. Yeah. And that was... Continue the race. But did he lost? Did he lose all this Tour de France? Uh, they stripped him of all the titles. All yeah. Them? Yeah. All, yeah, all of them. Hmm. But he also had fucking brain, lung, and testicular cancer or something yeah. all at the same time. Yeah, he's I've read his book uh, when I was in high school. Like, give the guy a break. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you ever hear the you ever hear the Bill Burr bit on Lance Armstrong? So funny. He's like, "Who gives a fuck?" It's like our roided guy beat your roided guy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's pretty funny. Seriously, because like you said, the last, the one who was clean, he got like last place. Mm -hmm. Doing laundry, eh? I should probably do some too. What's it doing? Are these clean or dirty? They're wrinkled. If you're not sure, clean this. That's what Washer? I'm doing. Yeah. I'm not sure, I clean. <gasps> oh my god. A forgotten treasure. The old splash. Yo, I haven't <laughs> worn the, treasure. I haven't worn the toe socks yet either. You have toe socks? Or no, the toe shoes. Oh. I haven't worn those in a I'll while. Put the splash pants on with the toe socks. Wear that. The toe today. shoes. That is so ah goldy. It's so yummy. It's so. How did I forget about my splash pants? How do I? Why you bring that in the house? Cause it's, it's hilarious. I don't know. I, I th Would you goggle this and Yo, your take the goggles to the pool. It's fun to look in the underwater. Yeah, for sure. It's a brand new world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 oh 
know why I find this so funny. Uh. <laughs> it's a brand new world, but like the pool is like. Yeah, it's small. Little like that. It's small. So it's a small new world. It's a, but it's a new world, though. I'm gonna try once to see this new world. I, can, I believe it. I believe it. Because, like, if you if you open your eyes underwater, it's like blurry and stuff. But if you have goggles on, you can see. Oh, it's so fun for yeah. sure. Yeah. Try it, William. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay. Oof. This is a lot of laundry. Oh, can you? You mean like on my pink shoe, like? The black thing. Yeah, let me use this like a pen band. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> it's a brand new world. Why oh, you still have this? I just never give it back. I'm gonna wash it. Huh? What's that? You gonna wash it? Yeah. No, I'll just give it back, I think. Nouveau monde. Do, 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 do. Tom Hanks or Leo now, uh, or Leo? Oh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks or Leo DiCaprio? Tom Hanks. No, it's Leo's the better. No, 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 I don't like it. Leo's the goat, in my opinion, right now. The what? The greatest of all time. No. Yeah, Leo's played a lot of different roles and killed them. <sighs> I don't like his personality, I think. He oh. looks so like, I'm Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm okay, but like the movies he makes, though. But, yeah. Are but incredible. No, that's the proof that's is in the pudding. Yeah. Although Tom Hanks has made a lot of really good movies. Oh, yeah. I mean, Tommy is yeah, up there, but... Good. Turner and Hooch. Who? Turner and Hooch. Turner and Hooch? You don't know that movie? Do you know Do you know that movie, Kev? No. Oh, my God. Turner and Hooch. Is it an old okay, well, one? you can't even... If you don't know all of Tom's movies, you can't... You can't yeah. do that. Is Tom in Bloodsport? No. <laughs> no. Is he in there? No. No. Uh, Dylan, you have Sharpie all over your hand. It's for my tattoo. Yes. It sucks. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Kevin. There just has to be a better system than putting black permanent Sharpie on the skin. You yeah, probably my, like... My skin's going to be fucked after this, I feel like. I feel like even your blood's going to be fucked. It's, yeah, oh yeah. Soak it, it soaks in. I feel sick for you right now. It's been 40, 40. By the fog. By the mm, smoke. But it's not her best movie. She's in a lot of movies. McRyan. Oh, I love McRyan. They're old movies. Best female actor right now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think best female actor right now. Oh, Julianne Moore. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's really good. I think... Meryl Streep always kills it. I think she's overrated. <laughs> she is overrated for sure, but she's amazing. Not, I don't like oh, yeah, they treat Meryl Streep like God. Yeah. Yep. She burped in a movie and the, uh, she won an Oscar. She won an Oscar. I'm like, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. She's, she's good, man. Oh, booger. It's a brand new oh. world. <clears throat> Gross. Tommy Hanks is in all three Toy Story movies, too, right? He's Woody. Oh, yeah. Really? That adds some credit to the resume. Huge credit. Great films. 
some of the best cartoons ever made. I'm trying to think. He was in a lot of old, like old school good movies. Big? Have you ever seen Big? No. No, I know what it is. You're kidding. No. Big with Tom Hanks. That's what I mean. So you can't. You can't. Yeah, I mean, I'm, my, my uh, opinions on movies are very small. Like, the, there's not a lot of credit. You can't do, like, oh, who's better, Tom Hanks? Because Big is one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. One of the best ever made? Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. never heard of this never before? Heard, I don't, can't believe it. I don't know how. <laughs> no, it's he's pretty kid. famous, this one. He's a, so uh, the concept is he's a kid, and he's having a tough time, and he's, he's at this carnival or whatever, and he sees this thing, and make a wish, and he wishes to be big. They can be an adult. He yeah. wants to be an adult so he can make decisions and all this stuff. And so the next day he wakes up as an adult and he has to get a real job. He has to get an apartment, except he's like a kid. He's a kid, like a seven-year-old yeah. boy. So he gets all this fucking cool-ass shit. And he, he's like a cre- toy maker. Like he, or, uh, uh, like he creates concepts for yeah. toys and stuff. That's how he got... That's a job he gets. Sick. What kid is it wouldn't wreck that? Yeah. So he fucking cr- creates all these cool toys, does really well for the business, but just the whole... Just everything he gets in an apartment. He has bunk beds in his huge loft apartment like he's rich now because he's yeah. made all these toys. He's this 10-year-old boy trapped in a fucking grown man's body. It's a, it's an amazing movie. An Big. Amazing movie. Rock- so should I watch that before or after Bloodsport? After. I think after, yeah. I'm really high on Bloodsport going out of this house. Get on Bloodsport. What is Bloodsport? I am. I, I am on Bloodsport, it's dude. Huge. It's top of the list right now. <laughs> Bloodsport. Oh, oh, I might do Lord of the Rings before, though. Oh, my God. I want to watch it. Just after t- doing the stories. Yeah, me too. I want to watch them again, too. It's like a must. After the stories. It was like I was there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was like, like reliving was, the scenes. I felt like I was with uh, Elijah Woods. Oh, I just want to watch this. I felt like I was Gandalf the Grey. Mm-hmm. Oh, if you can get a hold of the behind the scenes of how they make that trilogy, there it's incredible. Like the the details and like. I got the box set. Yeah, it might be in there. I don't know if it's in there. It's just amazing. The case, even the fucking case is like leather. It's on the, with the box set for the box set. It's like leather case, beautiful oh. case. That's great stuff. <coughs> you know what's another good one? What's that? Uh, Little Mermaid. I haven't uh-huh. watched that in a long time. Don't you watch that all the time with your knees? Yeah. <laughs> It's an amazing movie. What's the... I, I don't even remember the plot. <clears throat> she she sees this guy. The ship sinks. She saves this guy, human, from uh, drowning. And, uh... She, well, she's always finding... Like, she's always going through shipwrecks and stuff like that, trying to find human stuff. Oh. And so the ship sinks, and uh, she, she saves the one of the... Like, the captain of the ship or the prince or whatever. Saves him, and then she falls in love with him, and the sea urchin, Ursula, she's like a half woman, half octopus. She's evil, right? Oh, yeah, super evil. She's a witch. And, uh, <laughs> and she, ma- she, makes, uh, she makes Little Mermaid into a, a human, except she has three days to make Buddy fall in love with her and give her a passionate kiss. Yeah. Not just a peck on, on the cheek or anything like that, like a real kiss. Three days, but <clears throat> she has legs, but she takes away her voice. Mm-hmm. And then Ursula becomes does the same thing, becomes a human. Oh yeah, and, and if uh, if Little Mermaid doesn't do it, then she has to. She remains. She remains a human or whatever. And or no, if she does. If she does do it, she can remain a human. If she doesn't do it, she comes back mm. to the sea with no voice. And then Ursula takes her voice and puts it into her voice box. And comes onto the onto land too, like with legs. Yeah. And tries to make the prince fall in love with her. Oh shit. Oh yeah, she's a she's a crafty one. F- shit, what ship. happens? When they're on the ship, well, they get married, like the little mermaid and everything. Get oh, married. so it's a happy ending. Yeah, it's a happy ending. And but on the ship, the priest, if you watch the movie, he cops like he gets a boner. 
I've seen that screenshot before. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's like, why? Like, I don't understand why. I heard that there's, like, little sexual things worked into all the Disney films. Al- Al- Aladdin is the one. Uh, what's the other one? Yeah, there's a lot of them have, have weird things. A lot of them have weird things like that. Mm-hmm. Some pervert was drawing the cartoons for it. But Sebastian. No. Oh, it's good morals, great animation, hilarious. It's about this kid, Hogarth. All right, so I'll give you the plot pretty quickly here. So it's about this kid, Hogarth, who has a single mom. Mom never really has time for him, right? She's always working three jobs, so he's always by himself, and he has a wild imagination. He's always watching, you know, crazy television programs, but he really doesn't have any friends. And then one day, he's home alone, he's watching a horror movie, and he hears a big crash outside. He goes outside, and there's like these huge footsteps. And he walks, and he starts following these massive footsteps. He's a little bit of an adventurer. And he comes up to this power plant. But at the same time he sees this power plant, there's a giant iron giant. It's just this massive iron giant. Iron giant, like? The iron, like a metal robot, basically. Yeah. A giant metal robot. And the metal robot touches the power plant and it starts electrocuting him, right? Mm. And so he's getting zapped, he's getting zapped, he's getting zapped. Hogarth, like, is scared, but at the same time he runs, shuts off the power plant and saves the Iron Giant from being electrocuted. So they become friends. They befriend each other. Huh. And it's like the whole movie's about this, this relationship between this metal robot and Hogarth. And then shit guy? gets crazy because, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's some villains. Because Hogarth, like, keeps uh, keeps the guy safe. And, like, the guy eats metal, right? So Hogarth is always bringing him scraps of metal to <laughs> eat. But eventually, like, it's just, like, you know, there's clues being left. There's a giant footprint here. You know, there's a picture taken there and shit. And eventually, the government sends this detective to come investigate. And he's a super evil detective. Super, super evil. And they hide for a while, but finally the detective finds him and uh, calls in the army because this giant metal robot is so terrifying. But the, the Iron Giant's like, he's just so friendly. He's so, so nice. But they call in this giant army and it scares him and finally it clicks. Mm. The Iron Giant, he's like, he turns into a giant weapon. The Iron Giant was sent to the planet as a weapon but he was actually really, really friendly. But after the army came at him, he turns into a weapon, starts shooting them, starts beating them up, and this guy's unstoppable. And the detective says, the only way we're gonna stop this weapon is by firing a nuclear <laughs> bomb at it. So they fire a nuclear bomb at the Iron Giant, but it's at this town where Hogarth and his family lives. So this huge Iron Giant is a massive weapon. He's fighting the army, and little seven-year-old Hogarth runs in front of him and says, stop. Stop, Iron Giant. And, like, Hogarth is a seven-year-old. The Iron Giant's huge. And the Iron Giant points his gun at Hogarth. And Hogarth says, stop. Like, you choose who you are. You, people don't make you who you are. You have a choice. He's like, I know that you're not bad. And sure enough, the Iron Giant, like, puts away his weapons and says, like, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. But at this time, this nuclear bomb is already starting to come down at this town. And everyone's going to die, right? Wow. Everyone's going to die. And Hogarth says, like, or the Iron Giant says, it's like, oh, it's so emotional. It's, you have to watch this movie. I'm going to watch it. The Iron Giant points at Hogarth and says, you stay, I go. The Iron Giant has rocket boots, and he fires himself up through the atmosphere. And he goes, and he, him, while the nuclear bomb is in the air, the Iron Giant suicides himself into the bomb, saving the town. Wow. Mm. And the moral of the story is, like, the detective was just scared of this Iron Giant, not because he was scary, but because he was different. The guy was nice, right? And in his own illusion, he actually launched a nuclear bomb at a town that he was in, like, just mutually destroying everybody. But then the Iron Giant saves him. Oh, it's just 
So good. What, it's called Iron, the Iron the Giant. The Iron Giant. Yeah, I liked huh. it. Maybe I'm just nostalgic because I watch it as a kid all the time, but... Oh, it's an old one. It's an old one, yeah. Mm. But it's, like, really well animated and stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's good shit. Give us a movie plot, William. No, I'm Dylan bad. broke down The Little Mermaid. <laughs> I broke down The Iron Giant. You're up. Oh, I'm bad. No, tell us oh. a movie story. Oh. What? Which one? <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm going to lose words. I'm not good to do this in English. Tell him, what's that? Tell another one, you go. It's you boring, I'm going to be like, I... the thing that was this in the other thing, and this, and it was big, and I was like, oh, and it was like the girl, and that was big. That would be bad, so you don't, you don't want to learn, learn that. What, I, what about, uh, what about, uh, Oh, you love, you said that you love love stories. Yeah, I do like love stories. Tell us one that you remember. Have you seen The Vow? No. Do you read books? Not really. You don't read? Tell Not very us often. The, the Harry Potters. No, I don't know the Harry Potters very well. You guys ever watch 500 Days of Summer? No. You watch that one? Yeah. I think I didn't like it. I stopped it. You didn't like it? I think I stopped it because I know that I started. What is oh. it? What is it? I don't. It's just. It's a, such a good love story. Five hundred days of summer. Or it might be three hundred days of summer. No, five hundred days. Is it five hundred days yeah. of summer? The love stories are good. Her is a good love story too. Which one? Her. You ever watch her, Dylan? Uh, oh, I'm not gonna say like top of the list, but it's one that I think you'd find interesting. Here, I'll tell you the plot though. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I'll spoil, spoil the whole thing. You like love movies? Yeah. Them? Yeah. I'm a hopeless romantic, William. Oh, I'm sure. I was. I, sw I was sure you was. You yeah. were loving this. Yeah. I'm a hopeless romantic. So there's this nerdy guy, kind of curly hair, nerdy guy, glasses. Typical nerdy guy. This is happening in the future, though. Probably like 30 or 40 years in the future. And uh, it's pretty futuristic. You know, there's no really interaction between people in the streets. Everyone has their, their, their earpieces in. You know, it's very futuristic. No one, there's no conversation, right? Mm -hmm. So this guy's job, he goes to work, and he actually writes love letters for other people. Because the art of writing letters or communicating has kind of been lost. Mm. So people would send him a, a an order and say, hey, I want to tell, you know, Bob that I love him. Can you write the letter for me? So it's, it's just a weird kind of already situation. And this guy is super, super lonely. And it's ironic that he is l writing love letters for other people because you see in his personal life, he goes to work, he goes home, he plays video games, he's goes to, like, he's super lonely. He doesn't have any human interaction. And one day, a new operating system is released on the market. It's like, you know, a, a really cool operating system. So he buys it and he uses it. And it starts off pretty simple where, hey, how many emails do I have? 17. <coughs> What's the temperature? Minus 27. You know, or who won the game? 4-3 for the Yankees. And that's all the operating system has. But one day he wakes up and the operating system asks, hey, how are you today? And he's kind of like taken aback. Like, what are, you, what are you asking me for? And he's like, oh, I just want to know how you are today. And eventually, the operating system starts communicating with him and saying, how are you? Like, how do you feel? Are you upset? And it's the first time ever, like, he's talking to a computer, but it's the first time that, in a long time, that someone's actually caring about him. And this operating system develops a personality, and they ended up, you know, communicating. You almost see them fall in love. They'll... He would what? go, yeah. He would go. <laughs> I'm not sure. He would go on a he would go on a picnic by himself with his with his operating system, and it'd just be like, "This is beautiful." Yes, it is, and and it's a love story between him and a computer. Okay, I'd never thought. Oh, that. dude, you have to watch it. Wild. I, I I loved it, and it's so convincing. The acting's amazing, and they fall in love. You know the actor. You fall in love. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. Is the voice of the operating system? Well, she's got Joaquin a great voice. Phoenix is the Joaquin Phoenix. Is that him? 
Yeah. Is that, is that a name? That sounds familiar. Yeah, Joaquin Phoenix, I think, is the guy. I think he was nominated for an Oscar, but I don't he know. He died. He died? I think. This movie came out like three, four years ago. Oh, no, man. No, no, no. I don't know if that's him, but... Do you want Do you want to know what happens at the end? Yeah, bring it. Yeah, so... Oh, there's this one cool so, scene where... So they're developing this intimate relationship, but she's just a computer. An uh-huh. intimate relationship? Oh, yeah, like super intimate. Well, like, like, I love you. Like, I, I, like, really? Well, that's the thing. They want to have sex. Oh. But she's an operating system. So they hire a, <laughs> they, they hire a surrogate. What's a surrogate? Like, uh, they hire a female woman to pretend to be her. So he's wearing the operating system and this, like, female woman... And, and, like, they have sex, but then he cries because it's not really her. Like, it's just, it's really cool, actually. It's wow. really messed up. Oh my and at the end of the movie, their relationship's so intimate, so perfect, but then it starts to drift a little bit. And finally, it's like, what's wrong? What's coming between us? You're a computer. <laughs> and the computer a- says, it's like, I'm growing, I'm learning about myself. And you can no longer like hold me, basically. Whoa! So he gets and dumped then, by a computer. Yeah, and then he's like, "Well, <laughs> explain this to me." And she said, "Currently, I'm in love with 32,300 people in the world right now." Uh, and then he looks across the people, the real people, and, and like they don't talk to each other. They all have the operating system in. And then she real he realizes that she's in love with him and her and him and her, and that this operating system has just fallen in love with with a huge portion of the population and that's how the movie ends oh wow wow yeah it's a super devastating that's ending. a heartbreaker super heartbreaker it's like it wasn't special it's happening with everyone so the computer's a whore the computer just it's fell in love with everyone <laughs> yeah. you big hoe <laughs> i bet it was an ibm <laughs> 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 Well, that's a crazy concept for a movie. That's kind of cool. That's different. That's a wild concept. Joaquin Phoenix is a really good actor, though. I don't know him. What else you got? That's a good one. All right, you guys hit me with one. William. No, you're good. What's a story? Me. Tell me a story. But I'm bad. You know it's going to be bad. I'm here, I'm, though. You're the huh? best. You're the best storyteller. Yeah, ever. it's going to be bad. Like, even if... Oh. I don't know. That's a good one. Wolf of Wall Street, epic. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna be long. Do it. Never seen it. No. Stop. Cool. You've seen it thirteen <laughs> times. No, Shut I up. <laughs> I've seen it thirteen you, times. I, you oh. know you've seen that movie so many times. I haven't. You have, Dylan. Stop. I've never seen it. Shut up. I've never seen it. <laughs> I know that you've seen that movie. We've I've... talked about it every day here. No. Explain it. Tell us the plot. Because I've never seen it. It's been a while since I've seen it. Guys, I'm not just a little... I just remember him in the car like that. I'm not just a little storybook that can pull out stories every time. You're so good at it, though. Yeah, you're good. You should be a storyteller. Hit us us with the Wolf of Wall Street, because I've never seen it. That's a a flat-out lie. It's not (laughs) a lie. I've never seen it. I need to know what happened. What are some other good ones? I've never seen the, no, the wolf. Skip. Django. I've never seen that wolf movie. <laughs> I've just seen uh, uh, Gatsby. I've never seen the Django. Uh, I didn't really like that one that much. No? Oh, I liked it. The Gatsby's? The Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby, yeah. No, that yeah, I didn't really like that one too much either. No. Really? really like it was okay, but. No, that's it. Oh, you see the, the Curious the Case Jack- of Benjamin Button? Oh, yeah. Have you seen that yeah. one? Brad Pitt? That's good. Yeah. Tell us the plot. I don't. I don't remember that one. What about uh, what about uh, what's that? Oh, maybe that is it. He gets old. Yeah, the he's the baby is like born born old, and then he gets younger as he gets older. And he falls in love with the lady, and then and then they gets, flip their ages. Yeah, no. that'd be tough. Oh, it'd be super tough. Yeah, so sad at the end. He's like a baby, and she feeds him. And she came back and phew, disappeared. Really? Is that how it ended? Yeah, I think so. He disappeared. This is Who disappeared? Yeah. Benjamin Button? Yeah, I think so. Because he's really, 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 really a little baby. 
Yeah. And she feeds him, and at the end, he's just like not there anymore because he's like unborn. That's so sad. Yeah. Oh. That's how he died. He died. I didn't see that part. Yeah. Tell us about the uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Dylan, stop. Or not. I've never seen the movie. Dylan, I, I know. swear. I swear. I, I thought we talked about it like a million times. No. Someone else. <laughs> I, I, I'm not buying it. We've talk, I know we've talked about that movie so, you talked so to someone many else times. About it. No. In the hot tub with me and Bruno, I'm like, Wolf of Wall Street. You're like, oh, I've watched it all the time. I, sw- I think no. you're, you're actually putting doubt in my mind. But Because I ne- I've never seen the movie ever in my life. What a- so in that movie, he's really old, right? When he's born. Oh, Benjamin Button. Yeah. And then there's like the baby girl. Yeah. And they develop a relationship. Yeah. Where it's just like kind of like grandpa, baby. Yeah, but he's grandpa, but with, he's a baby in his mind. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, because I think, like, he starts, he learns to walk, but he walks like a baby, but he's old. If oh. I, if I'm right. He's just like, everyone is like a weird baby. So old weird. Ba- he's still a baby, but he's old. 